It is perhaps the one secret few people talk about. How many of you felt some shame that you had let yourself get into this situation? A secret people keep even from those closest to them. If anyone knew this, they wouldn't think of me as an adult anymore, as a responsible person. And it might hurt my business standing, my image, my reputation. In an age when sex is spoken about openly and few subjects are off limits, this one remains taboo. I felt like a thief. Which is why these people agreed to speak with us on condition we not show their faces. So my name's Jonathan. I'm a debtor. I'm a Jonathan. That's right. The secret is debt. Americans owe a record $880 billion on credit cards alone. I remember one time walking into the BMW dealer to buy a pair of gloves. And so I walked out with the gloves and a new BMW. Jonathan owed $225,000 when he attended his first Debtors Anonymous meeting and discovered he was not alone. Like you'll have the anxiety about the money, and then you'll manage the anxiety by going and using the credit card and debting more, and then it just builds and builds and builds. April Lane Benson is the author of the book, I Shop, Therefore I Am. Is compulsive buying akin to an addiction like alcohol or drugs? Very much so. You know, you have to buy more and more to get the same kind of a high, and it gets out of control. Very Benson, a psychologist who treats compulsive However, shoppers, says there are an estimated 15 million nationwide. More people, she says, than who suffer eating disorders. So, for example, this outfit, I will look so perfect yes. that my whole life will come together like in an instant. Absolutely. And they think that way on some levels. Mm -hmm. Are they feeling a need within themselves, an emptiness perhaps? Sometimes it's an emptiness. Can it be an anger? It can be anger. It can be boredom. Loneliness? It, loneliness. I would go shop to make myself feel better. I was like shopping every day. I'd have to buy something. Leanne Fraley knew she had lost control. From the stacks of unopened credit card bills to the bin shopping, buying, then returning. Every time I'd make more money, I'd just buy more expensive things, you know. I was never where I would actually pay it down or I'd, you know, I was still living paycheck to paycheck because the minute you get make more money, they'll send you more credit cards, you know. Leanne found her road to recovery online with a blog, writing down every penny she spent and sharing intimate details of her money problems with total strangers. They're like close, close friends, you know, and because we associate, we found something that, you know, we all had in common, you know, that we were in debt. Her site, Save Leanne, started anonymously. Now she's out in the open. I did it every day, almost every day for a year and got the money paid off in one year and two months. Her $20,000 debt is now $3,000 in savings. As for the debtors we met earlier, some paid everything off, others are still working on it, and all meet regularly to prevent a relapse. God, grant me the serenity. Deborah Thayerick, CNN, New York. Courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference.